Right, so we are back playing Tiny Rooks. So in the last playthrough, I tried the Pyro. It didn't work out at all. In on paper, like you think, like you do eight percent more damage per step of curse on you, will be good because it's like eight percent damage. But yeah, like the hoops you need to jump through in order to like stack up curse and not die. The hoops are a bit too like small to jump through, or maybe it's a skill issue on my part. Anyway, uh, let's go with this guy got buff, or maybe this guy got nerfed. Let's try this guy lah. Uh, now you deal more eight percent more damage per maximum armor you have. It's maximum armor, so that means even if your armor gets damaged, you still get the damage. You still get the like damage bonus. And it's eight percent now, up from five percent. So yeah, let's give this guy a go. Uh, dexterity. And intelligence. Wait, what do you have on the amethyst ring? I can't open this because I don't have a key. So this guy is like 16% damage boost and He's supposed to have strength and dexterity, I guess. But yeah, lah, given the stuff we picked up, it's now 2 2 2. Now it's 2 3 2. Wonder what you get for the perk. Dexterity. Proficiency. Hmm. Well, uh. What if I don't like any of these? Then I won't like any of these. Okay, I'll just go for the strength proficiency then. Might not be a good idea to like force strength if they are giving me dexterity perks, but oh well. I, I mean if they are giving me dexterity like items lah. The Shit, what am I doing? Yeah, and just to confirm it, see, it's still a 16% damage boost even if I got one like armor damaged. Let's go for the gold this time. A B and D. Okay, so at least the dexterity has some use for this light weapon. Yeah, let's go for a random melee weapon.
Oh well, okay, okay. Oh, speed boost as it boosts the movement speed, I guess. This one is slower but has a longer range. I guess that makes the tomahawk better. Yup, way better. Twenty-five percent more attack speed. Okay, that's pretty good, I guess. a key so I will go to the consumables okay repair powder so when this like armor gets damaged I can just replace it Again, 10% critical hit chance for 4 seconds. Okay, that seems interesting. They changed it from like 5% and immune to slow or something like that. The choice is clear, I can't open that door.
Okay, so the axe is pretty good, lets me like snipe them from afar. For 70 like gold, of course I would try my luck in arcade. Oh red dice, that's good. That's good. I'll probably like re-roll this. Not sure why they don't give me keys. Maybe they want me to pick up keys. Oh, was it? Okay, so I can safely say not gonna use this Battle X on B and E. 175 to 200, 225 to... Maybe because it attacks twice, that's why uh, the damage is lower. feel about the battle X. B and E, B and D. I think I'll go with the Tomahawk for now. Lah. So yeah, the choice is clear. Another melee weapon. Ah oh, shit. How did I like walk in do that? Repair powder just repairs like one armor. Wow, okay, legendary broadsword. Three 
three attacks per second. This is like a worse demon blade. first It's the betting man, so uh, I never had much luck with that one. The event, so not like. So I wonder if the gargoyle now like restores all of their health once like one of them dies or something. Looks like they restore their health. Ah shit. Okay, time to get a good weapon.
Okay, I appreciate the thought, but I need a weapon to upgrade first. Holy shit, that's a lot of bullets. This is a melee weapon, so yeah. Hehehe, <laughs> what a joke. I don't have a key. If this is the infusion shop, I'll be then pissed. But there's no way to know that, so yeah. Finally, a key. I mean, this... Oh wait, where did my... Oh, it's here, it's here. Oh, okay. Superior Butcher Cleaver. So this one, 258 to 287, what about this? This one has bleed damage I guess, so let me just upgrade it by 1. I can throw away the swift blade, I can throw away the battle axe. This is the part where I stand in the corner and the projectiles don't get me. Get more damage in. Then while he comes, like, do this. Okay, so the, this means I will, I will fight like Neptune at the end of this floor. I'll need to get enough damage to overwhelm his like bullet health.
This is kind of stupid. I mean, this will definitely help during the death fight. Still don't have a key, cannot go to the shop. Maybe I should start going for keys. Guess what, we don't have body armor. Okay, I've been dodging his projectiles but I feel like it's like due to dumb luck. So once he finally gets a hit in, I hope the 40% damage boost will like... Percent damage boost put it in some good work, I guess. I think they just gave me like one heart container. Uh, hmm. Well, the weapon had better be good enough.
What? Well, fuck to you too. Fuck is this? Fires 21 volts. I mean that's the buster sword, but that is like two-handed more well, my armor will get like removed. So, 2762307 Its reload time is two seconds. Whoa, okay. Let's give it a go for one. So unfortunately, I think the Butcher Cleaver is better.
Okay, something good from the shop. Maybe I might need this. I won't upgrade anything yet. I can uncurse myself by one later. So Fire Rancer, maybe you need to make it to this stage where you can start like cursing yourself on command. So that's the 40% damage boost. Well, I mean, I'm gonna stick with the shield, so I got one evade and one block now. Don't need this control, don't need this control.
Do I really want to like upgrade the Manticore? Hmm. Nah, I don't think so. all the luck I can get here. Okay, so that didn't go so well. But at least better than the Pyromancer. La. So in the next episode, we will try another class. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.